We're happy to welcome in uh, our recruiting expert, Evan Daniels, our buddy from Fox Sports. Uh, Evan, what is the latest uh, on Dakari Johnson? He's a guy a lot of people are familiar with, has some Kentucky ties. He's trimmed a list. How soon do we expect an announcement from him? You know, TJ, Dakari Johnson surprised reporters at the City of Palms two weeks ago when he narrowed his list to three. He's down to Kentucky, Syracuse, and Georgetown, and I, I think Kentucky is going to be a major player in this one. Uh, he's a guy that, that spent a lot of time in Lexington, did middle school here, went to Sayre Academy, and um, I, I think Kentucky is likely going to try to get him in on an official visit, and, and I think that they could be a, a major player in this deal. Syracuse, Georgetown, both done a pretty good job recruiting him. Uh, both have been on him for quite some time. I think the next step in the Dakari Johnson recruitment is to take some college visits. He doesn't seem to be in any kind of hurry, um, so I think this is a, a decision we won't see uh, for a couple months, but I think Kentucky can be a major factor in this recruitment. Now, it wasn't too long ago that Julius Randle was a, a big guy in the picture for Kentucky. What's the status of him these days, Evan? I know he said he wants to play with Aaron Harrison. How much of a factor is UK still in his recruitment? Yeah, TJ, those comments from Julius Randle, certainly interesting uh, with recruits these days. You never really know what to believe with what you hear and what they say, um, but certainly interesting comments from him. And I, I do think Kentucky is definitely going to be a, uh, involved in this recruitment to the end. They've already had him on campus for an official visit. Florida's had him on campus for official visit. Uh, I think we're going to see him take some visits over the next couple months. He's planning to go to North Carolina State at the end of January. Then he's going to go to Kansas and probably Texas for official visits in February. So Still a lot to play out with the Julius Randle sweepstakes. Uh, he, he's a guy that's obviously a big prize, a top 10 player, uh, a dominant force on the block. And, you know, unfortunately he's out uh, for the distant future um, with, with uh, injury. So we'll see what happens with Julius Randle, but I don't think he's speeding up the recruiting process. I think this is something we're going to see uh, go into the spring. And Evan, UK UofL game on Saturday. There were a number of high-profile visitors. Uh, they're visiting UofL. Some guys also considering UK. How much does one game have an impact on major recruitments like that? How much, how much can one game really impact what guys are thinking about a school? You know, anytime you can get a kid on campus, TJ, I think it's a big deal. And, and you know, Louisville obviously brought in a couple players uh, for their big game against Kentucky. And uh, I thought it was interesting, but I, I don't think that – uh, one game really factors into these recruitments all that much. You know, sometimes it can depend on a kid and, and maybe he gets wowed by an atmosphere and, and maybe that can impact the recruitment. For, but for the most part, I, I think these kids are looking at bigger pictures. Um, and most of these guys take multiple visits and get on multiple campuses. And then it, it comes down to relationships too, which I think is the biggest key in the recruiting process. So, you know, can it one game help uh, a recruitment? Certainly can help. I, I don't know if it ends up being uh, the deciding factor in most of these kids' recruitments though. Now, last time we talked, we talked about uh, some of the guys in the state of Kentucky who are maybe potentially UK caliber players. One name we didn't talk about was Cameron Justice, a guy who scored 62 points over the weekend. He's a sophomore. Is he a guy that has uh, the skill set and maybe the, the ceiling to one day be a, a guy Kentucky targets? Cameron Justice 62 point outing TJ was pretty fun to see you know I caught the tail end of it uh, over time in some of the fourth quarter and uh, he, he was just hitting some crazy shots hit eight three pointers was 19 of 29 from the field uh, just one of those days where anything he threw up it went in and as far as his recruitment goes you know it's more mid-level schools right now Western Kentucky's all over him actually Tennessee uh, has begun to recruit him and you know he's a guy that I, I think down the road um, high majors may start to, to recruit is he a Kentucky caliber guy right now Probably not, but I think that they'll certainly uh, take a look uh, sometime in the near future. And, you know, he's a guy that there's still some room to develop, um, and, and there's a ways to go with his recruitment. He's only a sophomore. So uh, I, I think he's probably a guy that they'll probably take a look at, but uh, he's not a guy that they're targeting right now. All right, before we go, Evan, Mark and I talked about earlier, I unretired for basketball for 2013. I know you play with some of the guys in the media, so are you ready? Are you ready for me to, to come after you because I'm going to bring the pain? You know, TJ, anytime, uh, anytime you'd like to hit the court, I, I'd be uh, happy to do it. I, I've heard a little about your game. Uh, obviously seen you uh, a couple times, so uh, I'd probably give you a three-star status right now. So uh, I'll take my chances. <laughs> I'll take it. Evan Daniels, thank you very much.